of the Zika virus that triggered global panic when it was declared as an international public health emergency by the WHO. Pregnant women are the most affected by the virus and are strongly advised to protect themselves against mosquitoes and to avoid traveling to areas affected by the Zika virus. If you're an expecting mother or trying for a baby, then here's what you need to know ASAP. Zika was first discovered in Uganda in 1947, but you probably didn't hear about it until recently. It escalated into a pandemic crisis due to Zika's highly suspicious connection to the increasing number of microcephaly cases in Brazil. Microcephaly is a birth defect in which babies are born with unusually small heads and underdeveloped brains. As these babies grow older, they might suffer from developmental delays and other long-term health concerns. As a precaution, the CDC has advised people against traveling to countries where the Zika virus is still ongoing. The Zika virus is an infection transmitted by the Aedes mosquito and is also a mosquito-borne disease. That means if an Aedes mosquito that does not have the Zika virus bites someone that does have the Zika virus, then goes on to bite the next person, that next person will get infected by the Zika virus. So for example, if a Singaporean were to travel to Brazil for holiday and then came back to Singapore with an undetected Zika infection, an 80s mosquito, which is common in Singapore and other tropical climates, can bite that person, spread it to other Singaporeans, potentially causing a national Zika outbreak. As a safety measure for pregnant women, protect yourself from getting bitten by wearing long sleeve shirts, long pants, and by spraying mosquito repellent all over your clothing. Only one out of five people infected by the Zika virus will show mild symptoms, such as having a fever, a rash, joint pains, and conjunctivitis. As of today, there is no vaccine or treatment available for the Zika virus. Efforts to create a vaccine are still ongoing and it'll take several more years before it'll be available to the masses. Over-the-counter medicine can help relieve the symptoms, but it's advisable to see a doctor, especially if you're pregnant. Zika stays in blood for about one week. And if you conceive your baby after recovery, your baby will not be infected, according to the CDC. Women contemplating pregnancy and that have recently traveled to an area with local Zika transmission should consult a doctor once they've returned. Remember the campaign against dengue? Well, the same precautions should be taken in order to keep our homes and communities safe from mosquito breeding. Aedes mosquitoes can easily be identified by the black and white stripes found on their body. These mosquitoes breed in clean stagnant water and can easily be found in our homes and surrounding areas. So remember to turn over all water storage containers to ensure they don't unintentionally collect water. Remove excess water from potted plants every other day. Clear out drainage outside your homes to avoid collection of water and cover bamboo pole holders when not in use. More information on the Zika virus is being discovered every day. So stay up to date with us on our Facebook page. And don't forget to subscribe to us on Asia Health Channel. See you guys then.